Hello, my beautiful Libra friends. I'm LaChan Zavri with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your May 2019 Love and Romance reading. As always, I would like to say thank you to all of those who thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to all of those who comment and share, and thank you for all of my old subscribers, as well as all of my new subscribers. I appreciate the support from you all. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, book a reading with me on my website, powerlifehypnosis.com, or directly through the description box below. If you would like to know who your future long-term romantic partner is, or confirm who you your future long-term romantic partners, when, where, how you meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize your partner, and more, as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with your partner and your ideal relationship. Book a future partner reading with me right now through the description box below, or again, at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can contact me at any time through the free Instant Go app. The link for that is in the description box below, instantgo.com slash powerlifehypnosis. I am running a May special, 11-11 for all questions. Also, I do have a new Instagram in which I'm posting weekly and weekend fortunes as well as guidance. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram for some additional messages specifically for you all, my Instagram followers. Much love and light to you. I hope that all of you are doing well right now. Let's go ahead and get started on our reading. Of course, this is a general reading, so the messages may may not resonate. If they do not, check your moon and rising sign videos as those messages may. Or you can check your sun, moon, and rising sign videos for a more complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during the month of May 2019. Let's get started here. So I do have an extra spread here. So we're going to get into, I'm looking at the cards in front of me. We got a... a um, a bit of an extended energy here with these cars and we have our um, additional spread here and then we're going to go into our two predictions and our guidance as well as our postcard from spirit so we can talk about how to use our free will to bring about the best outcome and whatever it is that will be experienced during the month of may so let's go ahead and get into our energy here Now, the things that I'm just picking up energetic-wise is I'm feeling as though many of you Libras may have been in a situation where you may have had some challenges in your love life. And of course, because this is a general reading, this can be anything from a month ago, a year ago, 10 years ago. You know, this is kind of a range because this is for every Libra. So not, you know, all these messages are going to resonate with you all in the same way. But I do feel as though at some point in the past, recent, mid, distant past, there may have been some challenges. Now, the wonderful thing is I do feel as though many of you Libras are transcending that energy. And I'm feeling as though the evidence of that will really show itself during the month of May. So... Let's get started here with these cards. Now, one reason why I say this or why I pick this up or this is coming out, we have the energy of worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. So divine timing has been essential here. So I'm picking up many of you have maybe thought that a previous partner Okay, now it's starting to make sense as I'm picking up on these messages. Okay, so I'm picking up that many of you may have thought, may have misperceived a previous partner to be the one, a previous partner to be your long-term partner, or many of you may have believed that a previous soulmate may um have been one for the long term and unfortunately that is not what transpired that's not what worked out so now i'm feeling that many of you are starting to see the benefits of divine timing okay coming forth in your love life so there may be blessings changes forward movement occurring during the month of May. Now, in my hands, I have the cards here of separation and codependency. So separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon, codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. 
Now it's interesting because normally I would take these cards in another way, but I'm just going to go in the direction that I'm feeling for you Libras. Now, there may have been some time where you were single. There may have been some time where you had to work on, understand, come to, know, heal from, work through your own codependencies. Okay? Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Addictions are affecting your love life, your romantic life. So this can be an addiction to a person, place, thing way of thinking, a pattern that may have caused a separation in the past. Perhaps this could be coming back up during the month of May for healing and transcendence and moving forward from because of the shift in energies here, the shift towards something better. So this could be something that could be coming back up to release, to heal, to move forward from so that it no longer affects you in the future, okay? And we will, of course, see more so how these energies are coming up as we move forward with this reading. I'm going to grab a sip of water here. Now, I also have the energies of here. First off, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Very significant card. And you deserve love. You are lovable. So again, if you've had some rocky waters, some tumultuous relationships, some challenges, confusion, upset in your love life, you've had your eye on the prize. You are Libra. So you are Venus ruled. So... Love is something that comes naturally to you. Loving others is something that comes naturally to you. So naturally, you have had your eye on the prize. You have been seeking romance. You have been looking toward romance. The angels are backing you up. The cherubim, okay, your spiritual support team does have your greater interest in mind. And that is why divine timing is at work in your love life. Because there are universal laws that govern what occurs to us. Just like karma, you know, what you reap, you sow, or what you sow, you shall reap, reap, sow, however that goes. The energy that you put out comes back to you. So the love that you give, giving your heart, Doing what you know how to do as a Libra, loving others, caring for others, that does come back to you. You do reap what you have sown. So understand that you are lovable. You deserve love. Okay? As long as you have love in your heart, as long as you are a loving individual, the beautiful thing is that is returned to us, that divine law of karma. So, you are receiving love in the process of receiving love. And for many of you, at this time, I'm picking up and what I'm hearing is a love greater than you've known before. So, even if you do not see evidence of that in your life right now, trust and believe that in the background, okay, beyond your realm of perception, beyond what you can see, this is coming to you. Now, we do have this card of, once again, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying your life fully. Or, I'm sorry, by enjoying this moment fully. But I think that was a Freudian slip there. By enjoying your life fully. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. So, what I'm picking up in this card is, during the month of May, Now's the time to, one, of course, give that beautiful, delicious Libra love to yourself, first and foremost, which is a way to transcend patterns of codependency, as well as, yes, enjoy your life, invest in yourself. What I just heard was invest in yourself. 
Whatever makes you happy, whatever brings you joy, now is the time to bring that into your life, okay? Incorporate that energy, those elements into your life because the better you are, the more love you have for yourself, the better you can love another, the better your relationships are, right? If you think about it, and for many of you, you'll be able to relate to this if we go back to the past and reflect on relationships in the past where maybe we had not reached the level of awareness that we are at now. Maybe we, in the past, were not at this higher level or before we have grown to who we are now or before we have reached this amazing place that we are now, the level of awareness, the level of comprehension of love and romance and relationships that we are at now. If we look at it, when we were vibrating on a lower level, those who we attracted, those who were in our lives at that time, they were on that level with us. We attract and we bring into our lives whatever is vibrating at the energy that we are transmitting. So if we want to be our best selves, if we want to have our best lives, if we want to live our best lives, if we want to have our best relationships, if we want the most fulfillment, if we want the best, biggest, most amount of joy, then it all starts with us and putting that beautiful love that we have within our hearts towards ourselves first and foremost, as we cannot give away what we do not have. So we must fill up our own well so to speak, of love, okay? We must fill our well first with self-love in order for us to then love another and attract those who will love us at that level that we love ourselves. So again, enjoy your life. Make the most out of this month. Do something for yourself. Do something that makes you happy. Is there anything that you have been putting off or neglecting or just not bringing into your life? Maybe you are busy. Maybe you're working. Maybe you're doing things. Hey, now's the time to up that joy, up that ebullience. I love that word, ebullience. That's a happy word, right? Ebullience. Feeling ebullience. <laughs> So bring that into your life during the month of May and you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. All right, let's go ahead and go into our first spread here. So many of you have found yourself uh, in a celebration. Many of you have found yourself in a celebration. Soon you will be celebrating wonderful news with your love. So I'm feeling as though many of you have been deepening relationships. We have two champagne glasses. We're cheersing. We're clinking glasses. So there's been some positive celebration, some positive event that has occurred in recent months for many of you. Now, let me say this. Let me go back. Actually, we're going to backtrack before the celebration. For many of you, there may have been heartache. Before the celebration, for many of you that may have been heartache, which may have made the celebration even better, right? It's like when we're born with silver spoons in our mouths, we don't realize the beauty that life holds because we just expect it. However, when you've gone through this, this is all the sweeter. This becomes all the better, right? We appreciate, we acknowledge the beauty of our lives. We have that extra sense of gratitude. So many of you may have had pain and distress from previous loves. Many of you have had to protect your heart. Many of you may still be in a place where you feel a little protective of your heart. Okay. Because perhaps some of you may not have that full trust and acknowledgement that God, universe, spirit, your higher power is on your side and that everything happens for a reason. The heartache, the pain, the challenges that you've experienced were not in vain, Libras. 
all right? They were not in vain. They were learning lessons because I'm very sure, right? I'm sure many of you can agree from the past, from, and this is something that's universal, from our past relationships, from our challenging, challenging relationships, we're then able to determine and recognize what it is that we want, what it is that we don't want, what it is that we feel that we're worth, when we grow, when we heal, when we move forward, when we evolve. We elevate as we move forward because we're not gonna choose the same person like before who has hurt us in the past, who has caused us in the past. So many of you have had some kind of celebration, engagement, deepening of relationships, finding a partner, okay? There's been, I'm, I'm hearing healing of some codependency, recognition, acknowledgement of this that has led to passion, passion in a relationship, in a connection, or feeling passionate about your love life, feeling passionate about your, oh, the word just slipped my mind, prospects in the future, prospects in the future, prospects regarding your relationships, how your relationships are, moving forward. Passionate fireworks still sparks in your love life. So the wonderful thing is, it's like good things come to those who wait. You know, if you keep on going and you don't give up, you shall receive what it is that you have been seeking. So despite heartache or challenges, despite divine timing and what has happened in the past, Libras, Right here, right now, there's still passion. There's still fireworks in or underlining or available to your love life. Now, moving forward, we have this beautiful energy of fidelity. Fidelity, trustworthiness, companionship. These are the words that I'm hearing. You, Libra, are the only one your love chooses to be with. A Libra's love is delicious, okay? A Libra's love is delicious. You guys are very, very outcoming, selfless in a way, mature with your romance. And the interesting thing is, and these are just messages that I'm here to say, so this might resonate with one or two of you, maybe not all of you, but the interesting thing is, when we have such good love, it is desired by many, the good and the bad. So the delicious love of a Libra, the wonderful love of a Libra, that Venus rule love of a Libra is desired by those who are honest, desired by those who are dishonest. Those who are dishonest, they're really the ones who can seek that out, who can go after that, who want to take advantage of that because it's something that they didn't get. It's something that they want. It's something that will benefit their lives at the other's expense. Nevertheless, they see it for what it is. All right. They see it for the beauty it is. So for those of you who have experienced that, I'm sorry that you experienced that. I'm sorry that that's what you went through, but understand that it is because of the amazingness that you are and the beauty that you are, male or female, the beauty that's within your heart, okay? This. When someone sees the beauty in you, the wonderfulness, the godliness, okay? The benefit. When someone sees your gifts, they are going to want it, regardless of if they have a good intention or not, okay? That may be where some of this has come from. So what I just heard was, <laughs> many of you may be transcending this pattern during this month because when we are loving, giving people, when we have a 
pure heart, a good heart, good natured. We do what we do, which is love. We go after our desires, which is to love another and to give to another. And in turn, yes, that can cause it to be taken advantage of sometimes. Nevertheless, as we continue to move forward, as we persist, as we continue towards our goals, right? As we love, like there's no such thing as a broken heart. We hit the jackpot. We hit the jackpot. If we continue on our path, we hit the jackpot. We heal these. We keep going. When we learn from our mistakes, when we recognize that we are lovable, when we allow divine timing to do its job, We get that jackpot at the end of that rainbow. So I'm feeling as though these energies of codependency, these things are being healed, being transcended during the month of May. All right. Okay. So looks like this is going to be a little bit of a long reading because we're already at 21. Partnerships. New energies, new beginnings, moving forward is what I just saw from that 21, 20, uh, 21, 13 rather. So there will be some new beginnings for many of you. Maybe new relationships, new energies, fresh new starts, new beginnings. You're moving forward in your partnerships is what I just saw from the clock. Okay, let's go into our first prediction now. We have here. My cute little pooch who's sleeping off to the side here, curled up, looking cute. Uh, we have the dog. We have the house. We have the writer. So for our first prediction, our Lenormand prediction, we have the house, I'm sorry, the dog, the house, and the writer. So because this is a monthly reading, let's go first into who this reading could be speaking of. And of course, Libras, let's keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not all of these details are going to resonate. Some of these details might resonate. Many of these details might resonate. None of these details might resonate. All of these details might resonate. This is a general reading, so if these details that are very specific that I'm about to provide do not resonate with you uh, describing yourself or your partner, Keep in mind, this is for every Libra in the world. This is a general reading. So this does not mean that this reading is not for you. This just means that you are dating someone, you are interested in or involved with someone who looks unique to this description. And we will get into what this signifies regarding an actual event right after these physical details of this description. So just hang tight. If these details do not resonate with you, once again, this does not mean that this reading is not for you. You're just dating someone who looks unique, okay? So with these cards here, okay, dog, house, writer, I'm seeing someone who, first off, I'm picking up someone who's physically attractive Okay, and of course, this can be yourself, right? Physically attractive, fit, strong, maybe something about the legs, maybe long legs, maybe this person is a runner, has been a runner, something about the legs. A good stature, I'm seeing a very good stature, and you see I'm like taking on the stature here, very good stature, uh, wide shoulders, wide shoulders, okay? I'm seeing someone who's more on the lean side, more tall, slim, sexy. Someone, yes, who's more on the thin, slim side. I'm seeing someone who has uh, maybe a sleek, sophisticated, slick style. Sexy, good looking. Okay. Um, maybe this person even has a bohemian type of style in, in a small number of cases. But I'm seeing somebody tall, slim, good looking. Okay. Um, this person may be fashionable as well. 
They may even have a unique style. I just heard a unique style. So some of uh, you may be dealing with someone with a unique style. This may be somebody who is fashionably casual, like an Amber Crombie style, but they look good. You know, it's like, I'm feeling like they do put effort into their physical appearance. They don't just roll out of bed and walk out. And if they do, they woke up like that and they are good looking the way they are when they wake up and roll out of bed. I'm seeing someone, once again, um, wide shoulders. I feel like this is somebody who's um, maybe fit, well built, you know, strong, sturdy. In some cases, somebody square shaped. Now, I am also seeing something brown about this person. So, this can be brown skin, brown hair, brown eyes, auburn or chestnut colored hair. Likely brown hair, darker colored hair. Now, the signs that I'm seeing here, I am picking up Libra energy. I'm sorry, uh, Venus energy. So this could be your energy, Libras. Or you could be dealing with a fellow Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or Taurus. I'm picking up Taurus for many of you. Or Aquarius. Or a Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Now, for some of you, a small number of you, this could be somebody with a thick tongue, a prominent tongue. Um, I am seeing someone here who may wear glasses or contacts, or they may have a um, student kind of look. You know, it's like when I think about that, I think of like pocket protectors or like pins in their pocket. Somebody who looks smart, somebody who's studious, somebody who's educated. Uh, these are also the details that I'm seeing about this person. So, regarding the event here. Now I'm pulling up also the second prediction because I'm feeling as though they're relevant, but we'll get into that in just a moment. Now, many of you are dealing with a soulmate, okay? A soulmate. Keep in mind we have many soulmates in our lives, all right? We have more than one soulmate. We have more than one So We have a whole soul family. So we have more than one soulmate. Nevertheless, I am seeing someone who definitely is coming through as a soulmate, or this can be a friend. If not a soulmate, a friend, a friend and a lover, right? And I'm sensing here a lot of absolutely fidelity, trustworthiness, loyalty, security, stability. Okay. Regarding this newer relationship, and newer can be within the last, you know, year or two or however, this is more of a personal way of looking at things you consider in this relationship newer. So take this as it resonates. What I'm seeing here, a newer relationship or a new person in your life. So this is not really speaking of for most of your relationship that you've been in for the last five, 10 years, something more recent, but there is a lot of, again, stability, security, loyalty. You have a friend and a lover. Okay. Devotion, faithfulness, trustworthiness, dependability. Okay. Somebody who's sensible, maybe more traditional. Okay. In this new relationship. For some of you, there could be something regarding going to travel somewhere. So maybe for some of you during the month of May, traveling, visiting. This is a card of visitors. Visiting may be significant. So maybe you're going to visit this person. So for some of you, you may have been separated from this person. Maybe you don't live in the same place. Maybe you live at a distance. Maybe you haven't seen this person in a while, something like that. And there's something going on regarding a visit to this person or somebody coming to visit you during the month of May. Overall, once again, I do see here 
that secure stable energy some of you may be building a family with this friend and lover with this soulmate with this person okay building something solid building a solid foundation building a strong foundation here a grounded relationship something family oriented maybe you're joining families or you're starting a new family new beginnings here so I do like this energy so this is a good energy okay okay we also have here for our second prediction sad news theft and we have the house card again so we have sad news theft house while I was shuffling I also had a journey come up so again maybe there is a trip visit going on if not that a journey in love a new relationship a new beginning deepening a relationship going on a journey moving in a new direction with a partner where there is fidelity the biggest strongest thing that's coming out to me here is definitely a strong solid grounded founded strong foundation dependable trustworthy loyal devoted love and connection and it looks like this is worth waiting for this was worth waiting for it was worth it the challenges from the past Whatever it is that you've gone through, whatever it is that you've experienced, it was worth it, right? It was worth it to have this in your life right now. So it appears as though pain, sadness, challenges, you know, these rocky waters here. Upset. I'm hearing, uh, for some of you, verbal abuse or mental abuse, spiritual abuse. In particular, for some of you, it could have been physical, but I'm more so hearing words, sad news, right? So it appears as though this sadness, these challenges, whatever it is that you've experienced, is going to be relieved, taken away removed from your life so happy for you all right congratulations you're deserving you deserve love and you're lovable you're deserving of this happiness you're deserving of this new energy you're deserving of this fresh start you're deserving of this new beginning you're deserving of this new journey taking place in your life so it's taken away because there's stability, there's security, there's a, a bonding here, there's uh, familiarity, there is um, establishing a new commitment. Okay. Confidence. I'm hearing confidence coming back. Many of you are regaining your confidence in love understanding your worth recognizing i'm sure you guys are knowing now and if you didn't know now if you didn't know before rather you know now right you're seeing how lovable you are and how amazing you are and how worthy you are mm, yeah mm, mm -hmm. all right let's go into our guidance so First off, I'm being called to this. Goodbye to the old. Goodbye to the old. Goodbye to codependency. Goodbye to the old partners who did not serve you. Goodbye to the old. Hello 
to the new. Beautiful. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. And that's exactly what we have been talking about. So this is a very strong thing for you guys. Say goodbye to the old, hello to the new. There's new love coming. There's new joy, new experiences, a new shift, a new journey. It's going to be taking place in your life. So have fun. Practice gratitude. Acknowledge the beauty in the small moments. Okay? Acknowledge the beauty in the small moments. Right? Now, okay, wedding. So some of you may be moving towards a wedding at this time. Congratulations. Marriage is a union of two souls joined together in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. So there's fidelity here. There's passion. You're deepening love over time you're continuing to deepen your love with your significant other with maybe a new partner a new fiance a new love a new husband over time it signifies a desire to deepen love over time your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith and love's power this is your reward for keeping your faith right because again this is somebody who's a best friend and a lover this is someone who was worth waiting for divine timing is has been at work here continually breathe life into that faith and love dearest one continue to love continue to do what you are programmed to do as Libras, right? What you are programmed to do because we, we all need a little bit of that in our life we need more Libra love in our life Love Libras. Love Libras. Okay. So, goodbye to the old. Hello to the new. We have a wedding, all right? A husband, a wedding that's taking place, a wedding that maybe you're not able to see, but is going to be coming forward, coming to you in the near future, or a wedding that you know about that is coming towards you in the near future. There's a wedding here. There's a commitment here. Again, stability, family. Friend and lover, best friend and lover, loyalty, okay, commitment. Now, it's interesting because I have here this message that kind of came out twice. Ask, and what do you desire? So Libras, we do have a new moon in Aries according to Vedic astrology. I follow Vedic astrology as opposed to Western. A new moon in Aries on the 4th of this month. And the energy is going to be strongest during the 4th to the 6th. So now is the best time for you to go within and discover, spend some time alone to uncover what exactly it is that you want regarding love and romance okay and it's interesting because these are things that we may not have done in the past not all of us have done these things in the past it's easy to ask for a relationship it's easy to ask for a boyfriend or a girlfriend and what happens is when we ask for just the minimal without being specific as specific as possible we will get what we ask for but it may not arrive in the way that we see so we can ask God we can ask the universe we can ask for we can ask a higher power we can ask a spiritual support team for a relationship and they're just gonna provide us the relationship that's on that level wherever we are right just as we were speaking of before nevertheless if we ask for and we are specific with the type of relationship the type of love the type of connection the type of romance that we are seeking then we shall attain that type of connection, relationship, situation. So it's one thing to say, I wish for a partner, I wish for a boyfriend, I wish for a girlfriend. It's another thing to say, I wish for a relationship that is happy, healthy, whole, interdependent, fulfilling, okay? So with this new moon in Aries coming up on the 4th, now is a good time. And even if you follow Western astrology, now is the time to utilize this moon energy, this very powerful new moon, this new beginning, and figure out 
What do I want for the next year? Okay, I'm going on a journey. I'm going on a new beginning. I'm building a foundation. I'm building, I'm building a foundation. Okay, I'm building something here. What is it that I want to build? And I'm hearing, and I just heard, especially for those of you who have children uh, or are seeking to have children, this may be even more important for you all. Now, what do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's desires, exactly what we're speaking of. Utilize this new moon energy, okay? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon what your true desires are and know that you're ready and deserving of them, the rush into your life as if by magic. Understand you are lovable. You are worthy of whatever it is that you seek, okay? As long as it's for your highest good. As long as it's for your highest good, you are deserving of everything that you desire. So ask. Ask. Ask us to help you. Ask spirit, God, universe, angels, your higher power, your spiritual support team. Ask for help in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf so you have spiritual support unseen friends support from beyond this realm and they're saying they're like we're ready we're here you know it's like let, let, put, put me in coach put me in we're ready so they're ready for you they want to help they're they're waiting they're waiting all they're waiting for is your request we're governed by many universal laws, which we have been speaking of. We're governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make choices, make your own choices, make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Again, they're like, put me in, coach. I'm ready. I'm ready. I want to help. I want to do my job as support for this person, as an angel, as, you know, this is higher realm support for this person. So... Now's a good time to even take out a journal, take out a notebook, and really write down what it is that you want. And if you don't know what you want, you can write down what you don't want. Go back to the past. Think about those previous relationships when you've experienced what it is that you don't want. I don't want um, a cheater. I don't want a liar. I don't want somebody who's dishonest, I, which is the same thing as a liar. But I don't want somebody who's going to hurt me or abuse me. Okay, you can look at that list. And then change that into the positive. I want someone who's going to love me for me. I want someone who's honest, someone who's faithful. Because you have this energy of fidelity and trust. And a best friend and a lover, that's available to you. So ask for what it is that you want and know that you are amazing. You are worthy. And you are worthy of receiving your desires and what it is that you want. Despite anything that you've been told in your past. That contradicts that. That is untrue. Okay? So ask for what it is that you want and then go back and, and rip up, get rid of that first letter about what it is that you don't want because you don't want to put focus on that. You want to put focus on what it is that you are attracting and bringing into your life. Attraction, attraction, right? Attract your greatest love. Now is a good time to utilize those universal laws, the law of karma, law of attraction, bring into your life what it is that you see. Libras. Dearest Libras, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again full circle in ways that cannot possibly that I'm sorry, let's go back. Isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again full circle in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. Divine timing has been at work. Now is the time. All right? The time is now. You thought it was time back then. And that's it's funny because that's exactly what we were speaking of in the very beginning of this reading, right? You thought it was time back then. And that's okay because it's like we don't we we're only going off the awareness that we have at that given moment, right? We're doing the best that we can at any given moment. If we, you know, had better tools, we would do better. So we're going off the best that we can at that moment. So back then you may have thought that it was time. You may have thought that this was right. You may have thought that this was destiny or soulmates forever or however that is. So you can wonder how dream can die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. Now's the time, right? You thought it was time back then. 
but your wisdom knows better than your small self whose desires are unmet so perhaps there was the issue of codependency right that may have had that effect all right now now here you are during may 2019 with a new opportunity to do things from a different more mature perspective love it we want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth you'll be called in two directions and the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one do something new goodbye to the old hello to the new i took the path the path less traveled and that has made all the difference go in the new direction we have the new moon on the fourth in aries new energy new energy in the unknown spaces the uncharted places of infinite potential we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life which you are so deserving of big bounty will come if you remain in the present you have come full circle and now you can see that everything changes is made new and given new hope loving you always my lovely libras these are the messages that i have for you for your love and romantic relationships during uh the month of may and i just saw 46 on the clock so there's angelic healing there's stability there's security once again that is coming there's a new foundation that's going to be taking place 44 14 on the clock new foundation it's going to be taking place and it's going to bring you so much joy and happiness and abundance and everything that you are truly deserving of so enjoy that energy practice gratitude uh start a gratitude journal be aware of the wonderful things that are coming into your life so that more can follow i love you all thank you so much for checking out this reading thumbs up like this reading if the messages resonate with you comment share subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already book a private reading with me through the description box below or at my website powerlifehypnosis.com or you can also and rather you can also follow me on instagram follow me on facebook power life hypnosis i do have uh the links in the description box below there's guidance there are messages there are weekly weekend fortunes there check those out i love you all go ahead and check out your moon rising sign videos um cross watch as well as that video may also have additional messages for you go ahead and check me out on instagram i'm sorry instant go instant go i am doing a may special 11 11 per question which includes your predictions and your guidance so i love you all and i look very very forward to seeing you here again soon Mwah. bye libras